Well, I told y'all I was going to do a video on this. I've got the jet boil warming up some water. Got me a uh, coffee cup because I got to go to a doctor appointment. So I am uh, waiting for this thing to go on boil. We're going to steep some coffee. I'm going to take it on a doctor's appointment. And then I'll report back to you um, what I think of this coffee and you know, if it's a good tasting coffee or not. It's, I can't imagine steeping is going to be better than, you know, a conventional type of uh, coffee. But I've been wrong before. That, that smells good. So we'll tear that little tag off, make it be like a little tea bag. We've got eight ounces of water in there. Waiting to boil. So I'm going to pour that over. I'm going to, uh, yeah, once this boils, I'm going to pour it in there. Uh, start the timer at five minutes, which you'll see me pour it in there and you won't see me take it out at five minutes. But uh, after five minutes, I'm going to try it and see what I think. I don't, I will say, I normally drink coffee with uh, sugar and milk. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I'm not a you know, black coffee guy. Big surprise, right? <laughs> I'm a fat guy. Uh, but I will try it black just to be able to see how it tastes. So, how close are we getting? We are at simmering. I guess I can put this on screen. You can kind of see our progress. The Jet Boy is great for doing stuff like making coffee. Uh, especially if you're going to steep it like this. Uh, you ain't got to worry about you know, going to your stove and uh, or whatnot. The cool thing about having the Jet Boil is you can take this with you. And uh, if you're on the road, you're a truck driver like me or whatever, you can then, if you like steep coffee, which I don't know if I will or not, but then you can make it anywhere you want. You don't have to go inside a gas station. You can just be like, hey, I'm going to make me some coffee real fast. You can make yourself some steep coffee or uh, also known as cowboy coffee. Because I believe it's the same as cowboy coffee. I think cowboy coffee is you just pour the grains down in there. I don't think you have a bag. So uh, it's not quite cowboy coffee, but it's kind of close. We were almost there. Should be any second. Those are wondering, I'm boiling off with Fina. The water where I live in West Virginia sucks. Uh, the regular water. So, if you're going to use nasty water, all right, there we go. Now we're boiling. If you're going to use nasty water, you're going to get nasty coffee. Just like with anything in this world, you got to start with good ingredients. So if I started with uh, with nasty water, there's no chance that even if this coffee was amazing, that it would end up being good. Put the lid on here to be able to control my boil or my pour. Take that off the jet boil and pour this in. Okay, the five minutes to start, which is probably not about that long to get ready. So we're at four minutes. I see you at nine. I guess you will be able to see my first thought. Basically, that's my jet boil put up and ready. There, I forgot I'm supposed to dip this. Yeah, I forgot. I'm doing it now. I'm supposed to dip this for the first few minutes. For uh, I'm sorry, for 30 seconds, I'm supposed to dip this. Uh, that's going to increase its strength, apparently. Uh, so you, I can dip it longer for added strength, but we're going to do 30 seconds for the normal strength. Okay, there's 30 seconds. And uh, continue the uh, five-minute cooking. So, uh, see you again here in a few minutes. Okay, we are officially at five minutes. So, uh, we did five minutes. Well, hang on. Yeah. yeah, we are at five minutes. So, we'll take the bag out. And uh, you can compost this if you want, if you're into composting. Uh, you can compost uh, this bag, actually. The bag says it's uh, somewhere on here. It's uh, compostable. Uh, all right. There. So if you like compost, you can pour both of this right into the compost. And then uh, get yourself some rich soil, I guess. Just don't forget to stir your compost. Now, this is still going to be hot, so I can't take a big gulp of it. So you can see the steam's still coming out. And uh, I do traditionally like my coffee a little bit chilled. Not chilled, but uh, not boiling hot either. So this water was boiling a minute ago. Take a little sip. It says you get hints of almond and cinnamon with a lingering finish. It 
Definitely taste the almond. I do not taste the cinnamon at all. At least not yet. It is still real hot. Uh, slightly burnt my tongue, because of course, that's what always happens. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a big coffee drinker, so my tongue is not exactly uh, used to that yet. But I'm going to take us to the doctor's appointment, and uh, I'll report back to y'all in a few hours. Uh, this is going to be drunk way faster than a few hours, but um, when I get back to the doctor's appointment, I'll tell y'all how I thought. Okay, so I'm back from the doctor's appointment, drunk the coffee. It was pretty good. Um, tasted better than Folgers, in my personal opinion. Uh, I, that, I can actually drink black. Uh, I, don't have a, I don't have any problem drinking that black. That's pretty good. You can definitely taste the almond. I could not taste any cinnamon at all. But that's fine. And it does have a lingering finish. Uh, it's probably been an hour and a half since I finished it, and I can still taste it. So, uh, yeah. The caffeine, uh, keep in mind, coffee usually has... I'm weird. I guess we have ADHD. Energy drinks... Just give me focus, not really a lot of energy. Like, I can sleep on energy drinks. I can't sleep on coffee. You know, energy drinks have more caffeine. Uh, really enough, coffee keeps me up longer. Uh, but it's more, a, it, it's a chill, you know, caffeine. Uh, not jittery, but on the edge of jitter. You know, it's decently strong. Uh, and like, like I said, I just kept it in there with the minimum amount, five minutes, it said. And dumped it. I did exactly as the instructions said. Of course, it's going to taste better with a little bit of milk and sugar. Uh, cause um, that's just how I drink coffee, but drinking a black isn't bad. Uh, as far as camping, cause you know, camping, you can't, you know, you can take dehydrated milk, uh, but milk kind of goes bad a lot, uh, when you're camping, especially if you do long, you know, for long amounts, but you can always bring a little sugar and sweeten it up a little bit if you want to, but you don't have to. That's a, uh, a definite, really good thing of coffee and that's excellent to take camping, uh, hell, just have with you, uh, like for me, I'm a truck driver, uh, I might actually start bringing my jet boil, uh, with me, that's where I can make my own steep coffee when I want to, and I ain't gotta stop at gas stations, uh, except to drain the, you know, drain the main vein, main vein, so to speak, so, originally, I gave it a, I can't remember if I gave this a like it or love it, since I do like it a lot, and I'm gonna drink more of it, I'm gonna have to Put it in love it. So if I didn't put it in love it before in the battle box of boxing, this will be in love it now. Uh, yeah, five out of five stars. I ain't got nothing bad to say about it. Uh, if you've tried this before, let me know what you think. And yeah, was I wrong? I'm pretty sure I I give this a uh, a good possibility when I first said it. So was I wrong? No. I put it in like it or love it, one or the other. I said I try it. Wasn't sure how it's going to be, and I didn't say, I didn't say anything that I ended up being wrong about. So, yeah, was I wrong? No. I thought it would be all right, and yeah, it turned out to be all right. All right, that's all I got for you. Like, comment, share, uh, and all that good stuff. A uh, couple words going to be coffee. Obvious reasons are obvious. And, yeah, see you next time. Peace.